Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Also, we have tons of new spell videos going up for you guys. We are in witches season. How exciting. Well, I am thrilled and ecstatic. How about you guys? Do you guys celebrate? Um, if you do, comment below. Let me know how you and your family uh, celebrate. We, on my side, celebrate big time. So we're pretty excited. Anyways, I'm bringing to you guys back-to-back -back spell work that you guys can do. Very easy, very effective, and to the fucking point. Okay? We're also going to be doing other videos where I speak more on how to be a sniper when it comes to spell work. So we'll get into that. You guys, like I said, follow me, like, subscribe so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Also, if you guys follow me or don't follow me, follow me on other social medias like my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. You can find all of those description links below. Um... Also, if you're interested in any personalized spell work or any type of personal readings that you guys are interested in getting or any of the services that we provide, our soap line, um, any of the manifestation books or shadow book journal, you can find all of that on the description box below. All of that is on there. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty. This spell is very, very easy. I am actually at the very end of a process for a client. And I really want to enhance it and take it to like basically hit a home run. Um, so that's the reason why I'm going this route. I will also tell you at the end of the spell video what you can also do the next step if you decide to go down that path. Anyways, um, this spell is particularly to banish. OK, this is if you have a crazy stalker, ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend that you're wanting to get rid of. If you have someone bullying, um, I know I've been requested on Instagram for anti-bullying spells. This spell is ideal for that type of uh, for that type of work. Okay, so you could do this again. Like I said, it's basically to banish to uh, freeze someone. Um, but depending on how you integrate it, basically how you construct the spell, you can do it. Like I said, if it is to banish. Uh, a bully. Let's say someone is bullying your child. You can do this spell and you will see amazing results. Now, I'm using this to banish um, some people in my client's life that are just fucking bums and have been taking advantage of my client. And at this point, we want them out as soon as possible. And we're going to put the cherry basically with the cherry on top. Okay. And I'll tell you guys what other step to do if you decide to do that anyways what you're going to need very easy very simplistic you're going to need a ziploc bag i'm using two because i'm doing it for two people um you're going to need a ziploc bag you're going to need a white piece of paper no lines you're going to need black ink you're going to need some water now for those of you that want to banish and remove these people or get these people out of your life as soon as possible. And the more they fight it or the more they try to fight it, you can actually sour their life using dark vinegar. Okay, so I'm going to be using balsamic vinegar, um, any type of dark vinegar, really. And again, be mindful. Um, as an example, I would not do this just to sour someone's life. Um, there are other spells that are for that. You don't want to use the spell for that. You want to use this spell, uh, this spell basically as defense magic. OK, you're basically defending yourself or you're defending your loved ones. Again, this could be done against bullying. This could be done um, if you're trying to just get rid of someone or if you're scared uh, they they threaten you, whatever the situation is, you can banish them and go this route. Again, um, don't do it out of spite. Meaning when I say spite, I mean, not that you, as an example, if you're just trying to sour someone's life, this spell is not for you. There's other spells that I will be uploading soon that are particularly for that taste. This is defense magic, you guys. Okay. So be mindful. Like I said, very simplistic. 
white piece of paper, no lines, black pen, Ziploc bag, water. If you want to enhance or empower, we're going to use some dark vinegar. Um, and again, the reason I'm doing the, the dark vinegar is because I want to make sure that their life starts to get to shambles the more they resist it so they can get the fuck out as soon as possible. I will also be adding a little bit of dirt. Uh, this is from the property of my client. Um, like I said, these people are fucking bums and we need to get them out as soon as possible. So I'll be integrating the dirt from that land so that they can basically... <laughs> So they can basically be haunted and sour every single aspect of their life, meaning they will incur blockages in every single aspect. Um, of course, if they don't resist and get the fuck out, they'll be fine. It's only in this in this property. That's the reason why I'm using the dirt. Again, you can construct this spell. The more particular it is to you, um, the more powerful it's going to be. OK, so. What we're going to need is you're going to need to write down the person's first name and last name three times. OK, so we're going to say um, we're going to say Joe. Um, I don't know. OK, Joe Doe. <laughs> and we're going to write it down three times. Do you need their date of birth? If you prefer, yes, you don't need it. It's not necessary, okay? So you're gonna write down their first name, last name three times, one, two, three, okay? Once that is done, you're going to turn it to the left because we're banishing, okay? So once you turn it to the left, you're gonna write down your petition. Be as concise, sweet, short, and to the point, okay? As an example, we're trying to get them the fuck out of here. So I'm going to write, you are now banished from, uh, and then I would put um, experience chaos and your life will sour the more you resist. I banish you now. When you do this petition, I really want you guys to be really pissed, okay? Be pissed, be, uh, use all that animosity when you're writing this, okay? Because you are willing it okay so once that is done what you're going to do now is you're going to fold the paper away from you one right two turning it always to the left left is always to banish you guys and again away from you all right like i said hold it in your hands and Put the energy of exactly what it is that you want them to do. I banish them. If you're doing this for an ex-partner or something, I banish you away from my life. You're no longer welcome. Um, uh, if you're doing this for one of your kids that's being bullied, I banish you. You will leave, you know, my son, uh, my son alone. You will not, you're no longer welcome or your energy is no longer welcome, I banish you. And again, um, don't necessarily wish harm on, on, on kids. We don't do that over here, but do with this what you will, okay? Once that is done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in the Ziploc bag, all right? So I'm gonna put this to the side. It's very much to the point, you guys. It is extremely easy, but extremely effective. Now, I'm going to be using some of the dirt because we are banishing them from a property. All right, so once that is done, what we're gonna do now is we're going to add some of the water. Uh, 
as such. And I'm also going to be adding some on this one. When you're doing this, really focus all your energy towards them leaving the fuck out of your life, okay? This is extremely powerful and extremely effective. When can you do it? You can do it anytime you need to do it, really. Ideally, when it's a black moon, right? Um, meaning when it's waning, which is exactly what's happening right now. So, ideal. <laughs> And again, keep in mind, we are in the month of October, you guys. Witches wait for this time of season to do very explosive, powerful spells. I will be uploading tons of power spells, tons of money spells, tons of love spells. It's it's the time. It's the season. <laughs> All right. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to then add the dark vinegar. Okay, then you're going to close it. Let me do this one really quick. And again, like I said, do not do this just to mess with someone. There are particular spells for that. This is defense magic, you guys, not to be confused. This is basically you standing your ground. This is basically you being in the right and them trying to do you dirty. Okay. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is you're going to put them in the freezer and you're going to freeze them. Now, when we do this, do not disturb it. Let it, there, let it sit there for a week. In that time frame, you should start to see them back the fuck off or leave you alone. Now, once you've seen the results, once you've seen the outcome, you have two options. You can take these out and toss them just as they are. Toss them and get rid of them. I like to seal it, especially for these particular spells. So what I do is I'm going to let these sit in the freezer for seven days. After the seven days, something should pop off by then. Once I see that there's momentum and, and, and the momentum is picking up, I will dispose of these at the cemetery. Now, why do we do this? Because you're ending and putting basically the seal that that person is no longer welcome in your life. Should they, down the road, get any fucking ideas, they will bury themselves. Meaning, the more they fuck with you, the more they are basically digging their own hole. So that's what we do. It's up to you whether you want to do this route or not. It's really up to you. But obviously, I'm going to be doing this. Um, these are for clients, and that's exactly how we get it done. So again, if you do decide to dispose of them at a cemetery, be careful. Don't get caught. It is illegal. So good luck with that. Um, you're going to see amazing results. You're going to see quick results. Um, and again, like I said, uh, make sure to remember that you're doing this to protect yourself or your loved one. Defense magic. Okay. Not chaotic magic. Do not confuse yourself. So don't try to do this for something other than to protect you or your loved one. All right, my loves. As you guys can see, it's very easy, very to the point, extremely effective. If you guys do try it, please come back. As always, I encourage you guys to come back and comment below. You guys stay tuned. We have tons of spells coming through for you guys in this hollow season. Wishing you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Until then, bye.